Hello guys, I am Paul Aymon Calicano, Diploma in Electrical Engineering Technology Scholar. Today, I will go to share what I have learned on TESDA. Because of TESDA, I learned motor control, pneumatic system, hydraulic system under the subject of mechatronics. Thank you, TESDA. For today's video guys, I will go to show you how a pneumatic system works. But before that, let me discuss what are the components of a pneumatic system. First, we have air compressor. The purpose of air compressor is compressing the air to increase the pressure. Dito yung nagagaling sa air compressor, yung hangin na nag-upgrade dito sa cylinder. The comp air compressor is automatically on and off because we have the what we call pressure switch. The purpose of the pressure switch is once na naabot na ng air compressor ang kanyang maximum pressure, it will automatically stop. And likewise, kapag bumaba naman yung pressure niya, or naabot niya yung kanyang minimum pressure, it will run again. We have also the what we call air dryer. The purpose of air dryer is collecting the moisture or dust coming from the tank. We have also the what we call directional control valve. We have two types of directional control valve. The, the one is manually control valve and the selenoid control valve. Today we are going to use a selenoid control valve. The purpose of this selenoid control valve is changing the flow of compressed air. Like when we are going to energize the coil A, the, the, this port will open and the compressed air will go into this port that pushing the piston and there will be an extension. Likewise, when we are going to, to open the coil B and energize, this port will open and the compressed air will go into this port and there would be a retraction happen. And also we have the power supply, the controller, and the pneumatic cylinder. So now we are going to test, I we are going to try to use this solenoid. Let's energize. Okay. So, while ago I said that when you are going to open the coil A or energize. And let, let's see. Okay. Just that what happened. And when we are going to energize the coil B, the pressure pressure from this port will go into this port that will cause what we call retraction. So let's now proceed to the hydraulic system. This is the part of a hydraulic system. We have the what we call hydraulic pump, hydraulic tank. We have here the two types of control valve. This is the solenoid control valve and the, the manually operated control valve. We can change the flow of fluid by energizing the coil, when we are going to energize the coil A, the oil will go here and here, push the piston, and we can have the what we call extension. Likewise, when we are going to energize the coil B, the flow of hydraulic oil will go here and here. At the end, magkakaroon naman siya ng tiyatawag natin retraction. So, ito naman yung tiyatawag natin manually operated switch valve. We can control this by manually switching the lever. This is how it works. So I will now energize the coil A. As we can see there is an extension. And when we are going to energize the coil B, that is the what we call retraction. Seven seconds later.
Okay.